Hi everybody. Okay, so I just got my luminaire and I want to sew buttons on um, this jacket right here. Okay, and you see I had to take them off because I went ahead and lengthened the jacket. So I need to move the buttons down here. So on this machine, which is really cool, you can sew buttons on. Okay, with this little foot right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my button and I'm going to put it right in here. Okay, now this is a four hole button. All right, so I'm going to put it in just like that. Okay, I want to do, for me, I'm going to do the furthest buttons out. Okay, so I have two more holes on the inside. But now we have to change the foot, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my presser foot and I'm going to take out the J foot that I used, okay? Next, I'm going to bring in my M foot and I'm gonna go ahead and line it up just like here. And if you notice, it doesn't go down all the way, okay? So I'm gonna leave that right there. We're gonna come over to my screen, all right? Now, at this point, you're gonna go into, okay, you have your index up here. We're gonna go into number four, and we're going to scroll up until we get to the button, okay? Now, this is a two-hole button, and I'm doing a four-hole button. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, all right? So we're gonna come back. Let's get this right here. Okay, so if you notice now, okay, I still need to get my foot attached. So if I go ahead and I press down on my foot here, it's gonna come right down onto the button. So I can go ahead and lift that up, all right? Then I'm going to lift it up higher here so I can get my jacket in there, okay? Next, we'll bring in the jacket. And I'm just putting these buttons in a straight line so I'm not going to worry too much about how I'm getting them lined up. I'll go ahead and lift my foot up as high as it'll go and make sure you don't catch on the back of the foot. Okay, and then I'll move it forward. And right there, back it up just a little. Okay, so I'm good to go right there. Now, what you want to do is you want to check to make sure that when your needle comes down, it is not hitting the button, okay? So this is where you're going to have to turn your hand wheel to make sure it's not hitting the button. So I'm going to bring the hand wheel down and I can feel it hitting, okay? Now, this is because it's hitting and I can't just move the, the needle left or right, what you wanna do, whoops, is come over here and change the width. Okay, so when I change the width, all right, you might, you should be able to see the needle move. So I'm gonna change the width to three, okay? And my needle moved a little bit. Let's check it. Nope, I'm still hitting. Okay, let me come over here and you can still move your button here Okay, so I'm going to change it to 2, and we're at 2.5. Let's see what we've got. Ah, we're good there. Okay, so now I can go ahead, and I'm ready to sew. So I'm going to hang on to that, and I'm going to, my foot is down. Okay, I can go ahead and... Oops, can't find my foot pedal. Let 
There we go. And there we go. Now you can sew on your own buttons, and it as long as you're holding the foot pedal down, and it will do the required amount. Okay, once you're done, lift up your needle. Okay, and I'm going to lift up the foot pedal because I need to move my jacket out just a little. Okay, so I can do the buttons behind. And you just have to play with it and bring it out just like this. Okay, because you want to keep those stitches in there. Whoops, I pulled it too far. So we'll put it back just like there. And I always check it first just to make sure I'm not going to hit anything. And I move the button just a little. There we go. And for some reason, I'm still hitting it. Let's see. Nope. So I'll change the width on that one. So maybe we just had the width. There we go. My button's too far out. All right. So now my button's in. So I can go ahead and start. We'll put the foot down. I think my foot pedal is too far. And there we go. Just like that. This is really awesome on this machine. All right. So I have successfully sewed on a button. So I'm going to pull this out, and we can pull the button out at the same time. There we go. Now, you'll have to pull your thread out a little bit, okay? And I'm going to cut my threads. And there we have it, okay? Now, you'll have to pull the top thread to the back, okay, so that you can tie a knot, but that button's pretty much on there. Isn't that awesome? All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.